Good evening. I was not able to be here this morning, but I was watching the meeting the entire time as I do every week. So just because we're not here in person does not mean we are not watching you. You never again will have the benefit of our silence as was spoken at the last meeting we were all at. I was very disappointed watching the meeting that not a single word of what to do once you contract the virus has been spoken about. Um, the word treatment did come up, but it was not spoken about what treatments are available for people. At the last meeting, there was a gentleman who spoke and he stated that he has contracted the virus. He was terrified, stayed in his apartment for a month sick, but didn't know what to do. This county is doing a massive disservice to the people by not ever speaking about uh, ways that you can either protect yourself from contracting the virus other than these nasty things which are causing strep throat, all kinds of lesions around the mouth, and all kinds of nasty things, which you all know this. I don't know why I'm even telling you, you know this. Um, but that's all you talk about. Versus um, my family, I contracted COVID over the summer. Um, my husband did, My and I have permission to speak on all of this in regards to the people I will be speaking about. My father, who's 70 years old, did. My mother did. My pregnant best friend did. And her husband, we all had it. My children, we all had it over the summer. But guess what? We knew what to do, how to protect ourselves. I didn't live in fear. I didn't sit in my house cowering, afraid. I knew that I needed to take zinc, vitamin D, quercetin, quinine, which is a natural derivative of hydroxychloroquine, oregano oil, vitamin D, vitamin A, vitamin C. My father went to the beach, socially distanced from everyone around him for two hours every day, and he got over it faster than we did. So this county is doing a major disservice. I heard Dr. Alonzo today, she stated that if you come in contact with someone who's contracted COVID-19, but you've been wearing your mask and distancing yourself, you shouldn't have to worry. If that's really the case, then how come 60% of the people who tested positive in New York were at home the whole time? That's bull, and you all know it. So you allow these things, these, these propaganda pieces to be pushed out constantly on Facebook, but you're not actually talking about real things that could help people. So we know that this is not about helping people, because if it was, you would be speaking about those things. You would be speaking about the treatments, and I've mentioned this multiple times. So you would be, and I can, again, I can speak from my own personal experience at this point of how I got over it and how I am standing here before you today perfectly fine, although this does make it hard to breathe. Um, so that being said, I would like to return these. I'd like $5 off of my next tax bill, and I'd like $5 off of my next tax bill for the ones that you're about to send out. I am objecting to the spending of $4 million for masks to be sent out to people that are unhealthy. Did you know in Michigan they had to shut down an entire school because everyone was testing positive for strep throat? And they're all shocked. How is everybody getting strep throat? Strep throat is spread through the same ways that, that COVID-19 is spread. But no, everyone's wearing masks and distancing and washing their hands. It's spread because it's a bacteria. When you're breathing, into a wet, foggy, humid environment, and then you rebreathe that in, you are creating bacteria in your throat. These are literally making people sick. And the fact that you are continuing this political theater, which we know that it is, is not okay. The fat lady has sung, the curtain has come down, the audience has gone home, end it.